and uh, this is gold and the daily chart now you can see gold is running in a range so range is uh, here we can see three eight five nine four this is a higher point uh, in this range and now lower we have seen three seven seven five four right three seven seven five four that means now gold is running in this range here so if you wanna trade in gold for intraday you must trade in between this range when price will hit this area start selling right so i'll show you exactly when to sell or when to not right here we have seen sell opportunity here sell opportunity and somewhere here we have seen buy opportunity buy opportunity and the buy opportunity and we are looking for a buy opportunity in this area right so that means gold is running in this range uh, this is called range trading so range trading is a little more complicated but uh, if you know properly it is not a big deal right uh, like it is very easy to buy uh, very easy to trade in uptrend right we are looking for like only buy 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 like that in the uptrend and the downtrend we are looking for sell 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 right we must find out entry point like that here entry point entry point like that right and uh, in the sell direction also so similarly in a range trading also we are looking for like that right range trading are like that here it is trading sorry so we are looking for sell here buy sell somewhere buy like that so that is range trading so now you can see uh, in a daily chart we have seen price is running in this range so we must trade in this range i'll tell you when to enter and how to trade in a uh, in the range trading right so daily we have seen prices Price are running in an uptrend according to the moving average price action whatever all are clearly they are indicating trend is up but this region are sideways right this region is sideways or you can say shopping market so now question is that how to trade in the shopping market right so let's check in a four hour chart how it should look like same thing and uh, right now price is running here here we have seen right price is running like that and here we have seen uh, 200 exponential moving averages are forming as a support right uh, for for the buy entry you can see so let me tell one thing here so if you wanna enter for the sell, you must wait to break this level of three thousand, uh, sorry, thirty-seven thousand seven hundred fifty-four. Right. Once they break, when price will retrace, so that will be our sell entry point. Right. Because here we have seen support are the price just to reverse from this area. Here we have seen support. All right somewhere here a little more above and then now 200 exponential moving average are forming as a support so we must wait to break this support level so most of the people are uh, people are thinking if there is a supporting level right price is running like that running like that if there is a supporting level price will reverse from this area that is the uh, wrong concept I remember right it is a probability to reverse back not 100 percent sure right and if the break this support right if price break this support it is a probability to price continue toward the downside all right and uh, let me show you uh, according to the price action method how it's behaving 
Now let's see how price is behaving when they approaching this range, right? So we have seen uh, this is our range, higher point, range, uh, rejecting point, range, rejecting point, right? So here we have seen range rejecting price bounce from this area, range rejecting and range rejecting from this area and range. So it is under construction, right? I'll explain how. So let's take a look according to the price action method. When price approaching this range, we have seen this is a large candle followed by a pin bar. And you can see continuously they are losing their bullish momentum when they are forming this type of candlestick pattern. It is a high probability to reverse right and uh, similarly we have seen this was a small candle followed by a larger candle that was a uh, probability to break this level but next uh, bull no, next the bull dominated the seller like beer right and price push up right so next time you can see when price is approaching in this area large bearish candle followed by a dozy pattern followed by another dozy pattern followed by a small body and followed by a little more bearish again fail and that form a dozy pattern that means now buyer are dominating in this area all right so similarly when price is approaching this line so let's take a look large bullish candle followed by a smaller followed by even smaller next the dozy fail and form a long week candle and confirm us uh, they are ready to run toward downside all right so let's take a look when they are approaching in this area uh, pair dominated we have seen large momentum candle next small momentum that means who people start selling from this area they are start booking their profit that uh, that means seller are right now they are removing from this market and they are ready to go upside right they are closing their profit and that is why we have seen smaller and even smaller candles so after that we have seen this is bullish candle after reaching that area right that seller uh, convert to buyer right so people are adding here adding here adding here adding here and run right so when price reach that area people stop buying and start selling from this area so similarly large candle followed by a small candle even small candle after that price start selling right so here we can see uh, when price is approaching this area we have to focus on same method next we have seen this is a large candle start uh, bearish uh, like uh, people are start selling from this area right they are dominating uh, right bearish dominating bullish right so have you seen large bearish candle this one followed by a small right that means who people start selling from this area now they are uh, booking their profit right so we are looking for a confirmation either they are going to run again upside or not if we have seen a bullish candle series or if price break this level so we will start buy All right so let's take a look another so we have seen another line most of the people are thinking here why this line right we have seen multiple rejection in this area right uh, this is also strong support or resistance whatever right now they are forming as a resistance so let's take a look when they are approaching that area when they are trying to break we need a large momentum candle have you seen when they broke this area we need a large momentum right or they reject from this area 
and the second we have seen large bearish momentum when they break this line and the similarly we have seen large momentum we have seen in this area when they are uh, when they are trying to break this level so similarly if who people start buying in this area and they are closing their position because we have seen a resistance are there and after that once they break by a large candle they are start buying and they close their position in this area so we have seen this is our sell opportunity and here we have seen buy opportunity right according to four hour chart so 15 minutes how it look like that 15 is different so 15 minutes are different it will look like that right so if you want to enter for the buy we are looking for buy opportunity in this area or after breaking this moving averages right so we will close our position somewhere here so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching